We've been dealing with negative numbers in the context of temperature. Today we're going to continue the work on negative numbers, but we're going to now do it in general on the number line. You're very used to dealing with a number line that starts at zero and goes on up from there. And all those ideas, as you move that way, your numbers get bigger and bigger. And as you move to the left, the numbers get smaller and smaller. Now we can take exactly those ideas and extend our number line to include negative numbers. And everything will work just the same. As we move in this direction, our numbers are getting bigger. And as we move in this direction to the left, our numbers are getting smaller. So, for example, if we go and compare negative 7 with, say, negative 2, let's have a look at where they are. Well, negative 2 is there, negative 7 is there. Which one of them is smaller? Well, the one that's further to the left is the smaller number. So we can say negative 7 is smaller than negative 2. Doing addition and subtraction on the number line is going to work exactly the same way as it always has. So let's go back to kind of work you would have done in grade 1. What is 4 minus 3? Well, if I start at 4 and I subtract 3, in other words, I have to go three steps back, I will end up at 1. And what happens if I take 5 plus 2? Well, that means I start at 5 and I'm adding, so I must move to the right. I'm going up by 2 steps and I'll end up at 7. Those exact simple grade 1 ideas are going to work once we get to negative numbers. Let's have a look at something like this. If we say 3 minus 8, well, we know that that means that we need to start off at 3 and we're subtracting. In other words, we must move to the left, so we must move 8 steps down. And once we've taken 8 steps backwards, we're going to end up at negative 5. So if we're at 3 and we subtract off 8, we're going to end up at negative 5. 3 minus 8 is negative 5. Similarly, we can ask ourselves, what's negative 2 plus 3? Same way as we've always done, we say, well, we start at negative 2. We want to add on 3. In other words, we must move up by 3 steps. And we're going to end up at 1. OK, I want you to try some for yourself now. Open your homework books. These questions are there and there's a number line to help you. Pause the video now and try them out, all three of them. OK, let's see how we did. All right, the first one, we start at negative 4 and we have to take one step backwards because we are subtracting one. So we'll end up at negative 5. The next one, 7. We start at, got to take two steps backwards, and we'll end up at 5. And that shouldn't surprise you, right? 7 minus 2, you've known since grade 1, is 5. 7, two steps backward, gets you to 5. What about 2 minus 7? Well, we start at 2, and we must take 7 steps back. And we see we end up there at negative 5. Okay, we can play around with it in slightly different ways. Let's have a look and see how we answer this one. We want to know 3 plus what will get you to 8. In other words, we want to picture we're over here on the number line at 3. And we want to end up at 8. And the question is, what must we do to get from 3 to 8? Well, hopefully, that's very easy for you to see. To get from 3 to 8 you've got to take five steps upwards. In other words, you've got to add on five. 
We can do just the same idea with negative numbers. If we want to know negative 4 plus what gets me to 5, well, what we've got is I'm starting at negative 4 and I've got to add on something and I've got to end up at 5. In other words, I've got to get negative 4 all the way to 5. How do I get from negative 4 to 5? Well, I can see quite easily I've got to add on 4 steps and another 5 steps. In other words, I've got to go up by 9 steps in order to get from negative 4 to 5.